Number one, trunk based development. You know what's not fun? Spending three days working on a feature branch only to merge it and cause a small fire in production. Trunk based development is here to save you from that fate. Instead of living in isolation on long lived branches, you and everyone else work off the main branch and merge small updates pretty much all the time. It keeps things clean, fast moving, and as a bonus, less terrifying to deploy. If you really want to make this work and keep your team from glaring at you in a stand up, aim to commit small, bite sized chunks often. Think of your code like Lego bricks. The smaller and more polished they are, the easier they are to snap into the bigger picture. If something's half-baked, no problem. Just wrap it in a feature flag and don't skip on automated testing in your CI pipeline. Every merge should get a friendly little test run so you're not breaking things without knowing. Move fast and don't break stuff. The second best practice is whiteboarding. Before you dive into any code, grab a pen or marker or maybe a digital whiteboard and sketch out things with the team. Trust me, future you will thank you especially when you realize that the things you're about to build have a glaring flaw that someone caught in 90 seconds with a doodle. Whiteboarding isn't about pretty diagrams. It's about making sure everyone's on the same page. Talk through edge cases, weird inputs, or whether this new service that we're building actually needs to exist. Spoiler, sometimes it doesn't. These conversations can help surface important questions uh, way earlier, which means there are fewer rewrites and less guessing, which which results in smoother builds. And yet sometimes it turns into chaos, but that's part of the fun. Ugly whiteboards can lead to beautiful code. Third best practice is learning your IDE properly. Let's be honest, your IDE is basically your second home. If you're spending most of your time coding in here, why not learn to use it like a pro? Don't just point and click. Get those keyboard shortcuts into your muscle memory. Jump between files, refactor, rename variables. You can all do that without taking your hands off the keyboard. Your future self will be grateful. Also, most IDEs have these insane insane power features you're probably not using. Stuff such as real-time linting, live templates, test runners, Git integration, and debugger magic, it's all in there. And make sure to also explore what plugins there are. Whether you're using VS Code, IntelliJ, or something else, there are tools and extensions that can speed up, speed up your dev flow, like cheat codes. Your IDE isn't just where you write code, it's where you can dominate it. AI tools are your sidekick, but not your replacement. Tools like GitHub, Copilot, and ChatGPT are super handy. But before you hand over your keyboard to Skynet, let's get something straight. AI is here to help, not to think for you. Use AI for the boring stuff. You know, boilerplate code, maybe testing, or how do I do this in regex again questions. It's like having a junior dev who types really fast and never gets tired, but don't trust it blindly. AI still gets things wrong, especially when it comes to business logic, edge cases, or anything even mildly complicated. Copy pasting without reading is how bugs get into prod and how you end up explaining weird AI generated variable names to your manager. Use AI like a glorified autocomplete. It's helpful but it always needs a review. Finally, I like to use time blocking when I'm coding. You ever get into some real deep flow focus time and then all of a sudden you get a notification saying that you've got a meeting in five minutes? That focus is then broken. That's where time blocking comes in. You need to set aside a few few solid chunks of no meetings and no distractions. Time each day and defend them. Turn off those Slack notifications, close those 4E Chrome tabs, and just code. If possible, try and schedule your meetings back to back so they don't chop your day into useless little slices. Or even better, have a honest and frank discussion with your team and set up some kind of four or five hour window where you're not bothered by the team and you only focus on coding. Let them know that you're going to be heads down and encourage them to do the same. One four hour block will get you further than a whole day of just context switching and interruptions. Look, being a 10x dev isn't about knowing all the frameworks or pulling all-nighters. It's about working smart. Just to summarize, here's a little cheat sheet for being a 10x developer and using best practices. Remember to merge small and merge often. Talk before you actually code. Use tools in your IDE to maximize productivity. Let AI help but 
Don't let it babysit your brain. And finally, make space for the deep work every day. If you do this consistently, you're not just coding, you'll definitely level up at the same time. One good habit at a time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.